I came to make the house with ocean view in Sean Kelly Gallery. I'd basically been 12 days in the gallery, not drinking anything but water and not having any kind of food. There was the three units that you can see very clearly. One was just a bench, which I slept. Then there was a sitting unit with a table and a chair. And then the toilet and the shower, which I would take a daily shower and go to the toilet, which basically was just peeing because I didn't eat. But you have to do this in the front of the public. And you could not come down from these units because the ladders was, was steps with the knives. And the public can come any time and look at me. It was a very important piece for me, and uh, it was dedicated in a way to New York. After this experience, after September 11, when the people become vulnerable, when they understood the fragility of their life, the temporality of our existence, it was really important. So they've been very accepted and very uh, open to this kind of work. And I have amazing relation to the audience coming every day and waiting in the front of the gallery just to come in and uh, kind of be in that space. It was really an experiment for me. If I can purify myself, that I can actually, by just being there, change molecules of the air and change the kind of feeling of time in the space so that anybody from the public can come there and feel the same and just forgot about the time, then my function is absolutely fulfilled. And I think that I succeed pretty much. People will go there for five minutes and they will realize they were staying there three hours and they didn't even realize how long time passed. So there was something there about pure presence.